folks what you are seeing is the fruit enzyme bottle we keep in our uh, toilet this is used as a, a toilet cleaning liquid whether it is for the commode or for the floor of the toilet this replaces uh, harmful chemicals this fruit enzyme making is very easy and if you are the first timers of course there will be always some confusions and uh, some hesitations this video is to remove all that this fruit enzyme is uh, very safe to handle it is a very aromatic there is no foul smell showing the same fruit enzyme in a, a glass so that you can see it better you, you can see it's almost looking like a, a juice uh, because we have filtered uh, this off the solid particles since this is an enzyme it's a uh, I assume it is more acidic uh, in nature and it is uh, so mild uh, so it, you can even handle it with bare hands but when it comes to cleaning it does wonderful job and since it is natural it is not going to have any harmful chemicals uh, it does wonders uh, both in terms of cleaning and therefore maintaining a sustainable lifestyle. You can make this uh, using different uh, fruits or fruit skins. We are in India, we don't want to waste anything that is uh, worthy of better use. So we don't use the direct fruits. It uh, doesn't make sense. So we use fruit skins instead. Instead of throwing the fruit skins, uh, this is made purely from fruit skins. And in uh, my case, it is made out of citrus fruits. Here are the most popular citrus fruits we consume at home. At the right, you will see sweet lime. In the middle, you see the passion fruits which we grow on our terrace garden. And uh, then you leftmost is the lemon which also we grow as, a, as well as we buy. Now, we don't use the fruits as is because this is more valuable for consumption. Though you can make fruit enzyme much more rich uh, in its uh, abilities. But the skins of these fruits is good enough. I'm going to explain to you how to make it very easy. Uh, as I said before, you can make fruit enzyme from other fruits or fruit skins like banana peels, pineapple uh, skins, etc. Or the fruit itself can be used. Now, there are different uses for these fruit enzymes. You may find out that uh, the, these fruit enzymes, if made right, can be used as beauty products also. So, the sophistication and the cleanliness you need to use for such purpose is much higher than you would decide to use for cleaning only. In our case, since it is only for cleaning, uh, I use a very rough uh, and easy approach to make it. So, the lazy man's approach to make fruit enzyme, I have been doing this for last four years. This is the fruit enzyme that is happening here in a 20 liter bin. If you can see it closely, on the top you'll see recently added skins of different citrus fruits. And uh, this is only one bin I am using. So this video explains how you can make uh, fruit enzyme using only one bin. At one end you keep adding and the other end you keep removing. See, couple of secrets of making fruit enzyme. First time, you need to ensure that there is a proper uh, fermentation. Basically, what is happening here is a process of fermentation. So you need to ensure proper fermentation first time. Second time onwards, there is no need to make any major effort because whatever is left over helps as the base for further fermentation. So first time only, you have to add only the skins and water and fermenting agent natural agent like jaggery and if you are not sure and you want to be further confident you can add baking yeast also but jaggery alone is enough to ensure first time fermenting now a couple of disciplines you have to use is whenever you are fermenting like this you have to close the bin with the tight cover otherwise the bugs will enter and they will reproduce inside this and 
still it is good enough for cleaning liquid but you don't want to make it messy you want to keep it clean so all the time your bin needs to be closed with a tight lid and it is useful that you stir this with a clean stick one the reason you stir it is to spread the germs that will assist the fermentation so that you can save time in uh, fermenting time in your first batch you have to patiently wait at least for 2 months by following these two disciplines which is stirring once a while at least uh, at least 2 3 times in a week and closing it with the lid then you extract in my case i extract it uh, in a very coarse way i will show you now if you look at this this contains a liquid that is already fermented as an enzyme but also it contains portions that are still getting fermented the technique i use helps me to deal this with this very easily which is i extract this with a filter then store it in a storage container for another one month so that whatever is not fermented will continue to ferment and get ready by the time i open the storage container for use basically i take a tumbler i take a tumbler and extract the liquid and take it a filter in this case it's a veggie filter this veggie filter will hold back all the solids and will give away only the liquid portion and this solid portion will go back so like this i will extract enough liquid to store in a storage container i'm going to store this liquid in a storage container uh, which is again a reused uh, plastic container the technique here now is to store this container for at least one more month before usage so what happens is whatever is pending fermentation will complete during that period so i close the lid clean the outside now what i do is i add the water to the enzyme bin uh, to make up for the liquid that is lost with this what i can ensure is that enzyme making process is continuous every morning we add all the skins from the kitchen whether it is uh, lime sweet lime or passion fruit and the process of making and extracting goes on at our convenience and we always have unlimited supply of enzyme for cleaning purpose at home whenever we want this is the easiest way to make enzyme i have closed the lid i hope you will find this demo convincing you to start making your own fruit enzyme for cleaning purpose at home it is easier than it sounds uh, use this enzyme for cleaning purpose if you are cleaning the floors then to the bucket of water you can add this much volume and mix that should be good enough for some reason if your fruit enzyme is not strong enough you can add more because you can keep making more and more so you don't need to be a miser in using the fruit enzymes especially when you have lot of that when it comes to commodes uh, i use at least 3 times this quantity uh, i clean the commod as well as the floor by pouring a layer of this water leaving it for 5 minutes then scrubbing then cleaning it with the water it works wonders it leaves a very good aroma and uh, there is no harmful vapors you have to consume and uh, your skins also are safe uh, directly uh, using it uh, with contact so i hope you will start using the fruit enzyme uh, for cleaning the floors for cleaning the toilet commode for cleaning the toilet floors bathroom floors etc